right, guys, so today I audited the Mexican army. Let's see how that worked out. Money? No, no, no. Oh, see, it's me, <laughs> Down here in Mexico, we, we film things. In fact, it's way more common for people to film. The idea that a cop would beat you or that you would be shot by a cop because you went for your camera is ridiculous. Cops don't just go around shooting people on the street. There's lots of problems in Mexico. Most of them related to the US sponsored drug war. But one thing that's not acceptable, not common and not okay here is the idea that police and government just executes people on the street like happens three to five times per day in the USA. I didn't know exactly what to expect. I'd never been to Mexico. Nathan had scouted it out before, but we didn't know what to expect. And it's funny because when we first came here, when we first came here, the trolls were all over it. The people were mad that I left, right? The people that hated me, they wanted to see me in jail. And so they were really angry. They were calling child services. They were mad. The police were mad. The people that wanted me in jail were mad. The loyalists were mad. And so they started making these wild predictions. Gavin will be dead within a week. Gavin will be dead within a month. The first time Gavin films a cop, he's going to jail or getting shot, right? And then I would do it and they'd be like, well, that was a local cop, a state cop. As soon as he films a state cop, it's over. Then I would do that and they'd be like, well, a federal cop. As soon as, as, soon as he makes a federally irritated, they'll just execute him in the street. He won't last a month. They were saying my family would be trafficked, my children would be enslaved, all this stuff, right? And then they kept having to push the line out because everything they were saying was, was this absurdity based on US propaganda that's fabricated to make us think that we're free when we live in one of the most fascist nations on earth. It's about human rights, not politics. I don't see police overtly abusing people and taking advantage of them openly near as much here. And so I don't have as much activism. I also don't understand the language as much. So I don't engage with things quite as much as I would in the States. But if I see cops doing something, I film, I pull out a camera, I say something. And I've posted these videos numerous times and the cops never shoot me, they never arrest me. Sometimes they get annoyed. And I've got a few videos that I'm gonna start sharing of that, but that's about it. Let's look at what happened when I rolled into a town nearby here and I'm like, oh, there's the military. What are they doing here? Let's film it. Let's film it. Hola. Buenas tardes. Money? Oh, si, es mi derecha. No talk on me, senor, por favor. Por qué? Tours la Marinas? Ejército. ¿Tienes un, un base cerca aquí? No, estamos de paso nada más. ¿Qué, qué pasa cerca? Uh, bueno, nada más un mes de paso nada más, ahora sí que. ¿Qué pasa cerca aquí? No, nada más estamos de paso, pues ahora sí de. Ah, ok. Yo solo veo lo cultural de la militar. Y por favor, dice, uh, dígame tu commanders. Uh, no molesta a la gente por fotos y videos, no, es no. absolutamente la derecha de la gente por sí, videos. No pasa sí. nada, no pasa nada, caballero. Buenas tardes. Hasta luego. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they were fast happy a little bit, but. And again, I didn't really feel afraid because, like, first of all, the military aren't police. They shouldn't be on the street. It doesn't matter what country you're in. Military on your street. It doesn't matter whether you call them National Guard or whether you call them police or whether you call them army. It doesn't really matter. Military on your street is not a sign of freedom. It's a sign of fascism. It doesn't mean that you automatically have fascism because you see military on the street, but it's not a good direction to go. It's a dangerous direction to go. And so the idea of them out there is that, well, we're keeping it safe, right? So you see these military guys and, and they're big guns, but they're not police. These are not guys pulling people over or making civilian arrests. That's, that's not what they do. They don't have that kind of authority. You were near a base there is why they're hanging out around the convenience stores. They're literally out playing army. And I'm like, okay, well, there's military on the street. That makes me slightly uncomfortable. I'm gonna film that. That's always what I do if I get uncomfortable. If something's interesting or I'm uncomfortable in a public space, the camera goes on. That's just a good policy to have no matter where you are. So 
this guy, he runs over and he kind of gets in my face. He kind of touches me, right? But not really aggressively. He was trying to intimidate me though, which is not cool. And I'm like, whoa. But again, like hostility is not the order of the day, like violent aggression. It's not like US police where everything is like a threat of violence. Do this or else I will hurt you is what you get every time you deal with a US cop. Here it's like, I'm trying to actually be polite. I'm trying to get understanding of that culture. So I was polite back. I'm like, whoa, amigo, no, no tocar me, por favor. <laughs> you know, and I kind of laughed it off. And as soon as I stood up to him, he was gone, right? And then I went and interacted with the other guy who was a little more chill and kind of BSing me and like saying, basically was saying, well, there's nothing happening here. Don't worry, there's nothing happening here. And they didn't really like being filmed. But the point is, that's the point. If you're a government official, especially one that carries an implication of force, you should always expect to be filmed. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance, but not of the government, of us, of you. That's the price of freedom. And it's really important that we always film, that we always do that. It doesn't matter if they like it. We don't always have to be rude or in their face, right? There's a time to be more in their face and more aggressive maybe, and a time just to be chill and casually filming. But if they can't handle it, they need to change jobs. But you're not gonna get like beat down in the public street. This is not how things roll here. The USA has turned into a prison filled with concentration camps and fascism. And the propaganda has to be deposed. The lies have to be deposed. We're not the freest. We're not the greatest. We don't have justice. And it's time for the world to see that. And it's time to stand up no matter where we are in the world. So the rest of the world does not become the USA. My favorite, my favorite taco shop is closed because it's Independence Day. In Mexico, every day is Taco Tuesday. So it's Independence Day here. So like a ton of stuff is closed, but these guys have good tacos too. Far far. Those are tacos. We don't want to grow up. Late, it's dark. I'm gonna finish my coke. I'm gonna go pick up my woman. She's overdoing Zumba. This is the Zumba teacher. How much do you charge for Zumba? 20 pesos. 20 pesos. So that's like a dollar. <laughs> so you got new braces. Show us your braces. Wow. Wow. Big braces. Are braces fashion fashionable here? Like, yes. Because in the States, like girls try to get their braces when they're young because they kind of get, like when they get older, they're like afraid to wear braces because they're considered like childish almost. But it seems like here you guys don't really have that feeling no, of braces. I it's feel like, very young. It makes you feel, it makes you feel young and their yes. pink and colorful and like. No. <laughs>